All right, fans and friends, welcome back. For this upcoming video, it's extremely similar to the previous one, the Hot Wheels Premium Car Culture Team Transport, and this one is the third in the series, the 2021 Toyota Supra GR, or GR Supra, as well as its accompanying Aerolift vehicle. And as you guys know from the previous video, I fully support Hot Wheels using this over using this, because it's just stupid, this one here. Like, come on, you're going to... You can leave this on the shelf. You cannot leave this on the shelf, especially with this here. Likes to knock things over. But anyway, we will see how well they did with this one, because I hear they're bringing the Supra back. Obviously, as this one's proving that point. And you have the usual stuff, the real riders, metal on metal. And then Mattel's number 37. And on the back, we have their usual stuff. So I said 37, 36, and then 35, the video from last time. You have all your usual st standard uh, information and sponsors. And as you can see from the Supra, the G-Ready and Bilstein are prominently painted on it. Uh, the Volkswagen from last time did not have that much. And the Corvette, even though it had a lot more decorations, was less about the sponsors. And then you have Valvoline, VP Racing, Volkswagen, GM, all the usual stuff. Republic Argentina, Bridgestone, Collectors.com from Hot Wheels, and Mattel, Empowering the Next Generation through Play. And then the French version of that. And as usual, not for use with Hot Wheels sets, once again, because of the layout of the vehicle and the truck. Probably will not fit most of their sets. And so I just want to say one more thing about Hot Wheels is that they do uniquely paint. I didn't cover it in the last video, but I think I did for the Corvette. You can see there the arrow left and there the Supra and then a the racetrack it's not much but they're off-road I've done their team transports with the Ford RS 200 and it as well was painted in its off-road guys although I did not approve of the van Ford apparently according to Hot Wheels does not make a van capable of pulling that car on its trailer all right, so after a short wrestling match, I have freed the Supra from its base. As you can see, Loki has decided to attend this one too, which is why I could not move the base from that one to this one. Maybe the black will stand out better. But And as you can see, this car here does not stick like the Volkswagen wants to stick. Same thing, it sticks to it. So you can use either or, obviously the Supras is painted very differently and it does the same thing, I think, I hope. Yes, it does, just a little stuck. So I would say these are well worth it by themselves. Uh, as you can see, it's painted on really. So the G-Ready, the Valvoline, the Bilstein and the GR looks properly painted on. It's not quite as fuzzy. You guys can probably see that clearly. And then you have those normal decals. The vehicle rolls very well, as all Hot Wheels slash Mattel should. And I'm not going to complain about that yet, just yet. And then it's exactly like the other one, except for obviously they replaced the uh, R with the GR. And they painted, actually, you can see the imprint of the two lights up there, but because the whole thing was just painted black, it's easy to miss. And then the interior of it is red, as the interior of this one is blue, but because of the painting, obviously, maybe the lighting, it's very hard to make out. You have the wipers there, you have the front grille, all the lights. Pretty much identical, except for the backgrounds are on. So like I said, these are probably 99%. Oh, they may put the shiny base here. You can see the muffler detail the same, uh, but the shiny shinier base of the ID4 and this one apparently is a year no they're both 2018 so they're not a year older or no this is p44 this is p45 so maybe they're just changing it up a little bit I didn't comment about the hot wheels there but I think the matte black is better than the shiny if you have like I'm having trouble showing that because the lighting reflection but like I said it's almost identical uh, everything else seems to want to yeah, almost identical. But this one, for some reason, 
was a little bit more stuck. The left side did end up with the right, except for the gas there. Well, has the gas cap there too? Other than that, it appears to be, and the base is not the shiny metal, it's the matte black, which I a little bit prefer. Everything appears to be identical. And now for the Supra 2021. Uh, one of the things I'm going to say right off the bat, and good for them, because they did it with the Corvette. I don't see it on the Volkswagen, also, although the Volkswagen might. Yeah, I don't see that on the Volkswagen is the rear view mirrors. Not much of a make or break, but I'd rather have it than not have it. You can clearly see the interior. Very plain in the back, though. Side windows, you can see the roll cage, or at least details of the roll cage in there. The built in seems to be painted properly, the V, sorry, the G ready, but the valve in is really, really fuzzy. It's legible, but it's very fuzzy. And the GR as well looks like that faded bubble jet printer. We go to the back, the G ready is really easily legible, but the Supra on the back is really fuzzy. Toyota, it appears to me very clear, it should appear to you guys very clear. Uh, you can see the indent on the roof there. I did not notice that before, but I guess that's a detail of the car itself. Left side is almost identical to the right side, built-in G-Ready Valvoline. Once again, the Valvoline seems to be more faded, as well as the GR as well. I don't know what's going on. They start out good, and then they fade towards the back. I don't know what's going on there. And the front there we have is a combination of plastic inserts and faded painting. You can just make out individual lights and a Toyota symbol. Nice and prominent unlike the Volkswagen IDR which has the IDR on it but no Volkswagen. Little insignia thing. And finally the underside extremely plain. Uh, 2020 is 2021 Toyota GR Supra and you have its production code there GRL80 P40 release and where it's made in company. And then other than that, it's really plain, probably even more basic. Yeah, it's same kind of basic as the Corvette. And so I guess this one is the last of this like three part set. Other than that, I said it's okay. Very well done. Matches its GR carrier. Uh, I give it a two thumbs up. Like I said, I saw them happen to see them cost me about a dollar fifty more than the Corvette but I mean lo and behold it's okay the Cor because the Supra is much smaller it does roll a little but because the carrier is level it doesn't fall off as easily even the cat's excited with this Supra so there you go guys I'm not going to keep you any longer Toyota Supra Corvette and the ID4 sorry IDR not ID4 I keep saying ID4 it's IDR Yeah, IDR. So, sorry about that. Little misconception, but for this video, just doing the Toyota GR Supra. Last of its series, so one, two, and three. And thank you guys for watching, and until the next one.